Have any of you ever felt like in the next few minutes you could be killed? Have any of you ever felt like no one, not even your own mom, cared about what happened to you? Have you ever felt like no matter what you tried or how many times you tried it, nothing seemed to work? Have you ever faced a moment in your life where all the roads seemed closed and you couldn't see a way forward? In other words, have you ever felt completely hopeless, alone, and lost? If so, hold that thought while you try to imagine yourself in these three real stories. Let's begin with a man named David. Imagine you're him. You've already spent 20 years behind bars in a brutal, soul-sucking environment. Now you're in trouble again. You're speeding your car through the streets of Huntington Beach, California at night, being chased by the police. Overhead, a helicopter shines a blinding light into your car as your ears ring from the deafening sirens and the megaphones are commanding you to pull over. You've already made up your mind that stopping is not an option. But crashing through that police barricade quite possibly means suicide by cop. Now that's hopeless. Next, imagine you're a young woman by the name of Tiffany. All you have ever known since the day you were born is a life of drugs. Your mom was a dope fiend. You have seen countless men coming and going out of her bedrooms, and oftentimes they were mean to you. You did drugs for the first time by age 10. You lost your virginity at 12. And by 13, you were living under a bridge. You viewed the world as an angry, violent place, so you became that too. After train hopping for a while, you ended up in a homeless camp in Yuma, Arizona, having frequent run-ins with the law. Now that's alone. Finally, imagine you're a man named Eric. You've battled addictions your entire life. You've been to 30, 60, and 90-day programs, but nothing's helped you change. You've stolen from your family, and you've destroyed a marriage over your addiction. Each time you get out of drug treatment, you promise yourself you'll never use again, but you always do. In fact, you just stepped out of your 28th drug treatment program only to get arrested again for yet another drug-related robbery. Now that's lost. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dave DeRocher. I'm the managing director at a place called The Other Side Academy in Salt Lake City, Utah. Every city in the U.S. struggles with these chronic patterns of criminality and addiction. And as a result, our jails and prisons are full of people like David, Tiffany, and Eric. Why do we do this? Because our society is caught in a pattern too. We continue to incarcerate these people for longer and longer sentences, or we send them to short-term drug treatment programs over and over again to no avail. At the Other Side Academy, we break those patterns. Even though our average student's been arrested 25 times, 90% of them have been homeless, and all of them have battled addiction. How do we do it? At the Other Side Academy, we offer something completely different than incarceration and short-term drug treatment. For example, number one, we are peer run and our staff comes from the same background as our students. Number two, we fund ourselves by running our own social enterprises and our students pay nothing to attend while learning valuable vocational skills. Number three, we focus on behaviors because they are the cause of addiction and criminal acts, not drugs. Number four, we require a two year commitment that way our students can get the hard work done before they graduate. Now, being peer run means we have no doctors, no counselors, and no therapists fixing us. Peer accountability does that work. We believe when A helps B, A gets better. Being self-funded means our social enterprises have to earn customers in order to remain self-reliant. Check out the other side movers on Yelp and Google reviews. It turns out we really are good at moving your valuables, only now we do it with your permission. <laughs> Being focused on behaviors means we understand that drug addicts are inherently liars, cheaters, thieves, manipulators. So by holding them accountable, they learn to live a value-centered life of integrity. Having a two-year time frame means that we can focus on doing the next right thing every day for at least two years until we completely recalibrate our moral compass. These four factors drive our success. In addition, in the three years since we've been opened, none of our students have ever given a dirty drug test to adult parole and probation. 
90, <laughs> and 98% of our graduates are employed and living crime-free lives. Remember Eric? He has now been clean for over two years, longer than any other period in his entire life. That's not all. Our students are breaking generational cycles of poverty, criminal behavior, addiction, and they're reuniting with their families. Remember Tiffany? Here she is with her son. By taking these criminals off the streets and out of jails, we estimate that we will save the taxpayers of Utah over $30 million with our current 100 students. Dr. George de Leon, a renowned expert and academic in this field, said that this model results in the best outcomes for our population compared to any other drug treatment program there is. And now for some personal proof that this model works. Remember David, the guy who was going to ram the police barricade, risking suicide by cop? That was me. I went for it, slamming through and crashing into an embankment. Luckily, the cops didn't shoot me. Instead, they just pulled me from my car and beat me senseless. I sat in jail facing 22 years in prison. If it wasn't for an empathetic judge who gave me an opportunity to come to a model like this, I would still be in prison today with over nine years left on my sentence. Tiffany would likely be living under a different bridge, and Eric would be in yet another drug treatment program, again, at your expense. But thanks to this model, our students are learning to navigate themselves away from toxic behaviors and destructive habits. That is why we call it the other side. It's a place and a process for people like David, Eric, and Tiffany to get from where we were to the other side. And we are just getting started. Our goal is to open more campuses and more communities so thousands more people, just like us, can get to the other side too. And we invite you to join us. Thank you. Yeah. Mm.